We're here at the San Diego Zoo's Beckman Center for Conservation Research. We're going to be talking to Jeff Lem, who's the project manager for mountain yellow-legged frogs. This is a highly endangered species that lives in Southern California, and the San Diego Zoo is working to try to save it. Jeff, we're here with aquariums filled with mountain yellow-legged frogs. How did we get them and why are they here? Well, uh, these animals originally came in August of 2006 as tadpoles, and they were emergency salvaged by our partners in conservation, the U.S. Geological Survey. And the reason they were taken from the wild was their pools were drying up because we've had such bad droughts. There was no water left. Being critically endangered in Southern California, we didn't want these tadpoles just drying up. So the tadpoles were brought here to Crest, uh, the wild animal park. And from there, they were put into some uh, larger tanks than these, actually. They were filled all the way with water. And what we've been doing is we've morphed these tadpoles into frogs, the frogs you see here. And uh, we actually have a long range program with these guys. Uh, first and foremost is to breed them. And, uh, and then from those progeny, we're gonna try and reintroduce them back to the wild. Why are these frogs going extinct in the wild? Uh, these guys are going extinct for a number of reasons. Um, habitat loss is always a, a big problem in Southern California. Water quality, um, the fires came through and all the ash went into the water. That killed off quite a few frogs. Uh, we believe there's only probably eight populations left in Southern California, and that's fewer than 250 frogs. So they are critically endangered. Another big problem is introduced predators such as bullfrogs and uh, the trout that are stocked for fishermen eat the frogs, unfortunately. Um, pollution and a f another huge thing is called chytrid fungus. And that's a fungus that lives naturally in the environment, but for some reason it is now starting to affect amphibian populations all over the world. Almost every continent with frogs has chytrid and it's, it's making a huge impact on the frogs. And, what it is, it's a fungus that somehow interrupts the, um, the breathing mechanism um, through the skin. Frogs often respire through their skin, and the chytrid fungus gets in there, and it, it causes problem in the keratin in the skin, so they can't breathe right, and uh, a number of other things that's still being researched. What are the future plans for these frogs? Well, right now we have 60 frogs. We have three tadpoles left that we're morphing into frogs. Everything is going to stay in captivity here. It's kind of a hedge against extinction in the wild. Uh, we're having a number of other zoos take frogs because it's a little difficult to manage, you know, 63 frogs. So some other zoos are going to take them. We're going to start a major breeding program. And then the progeny from these adults here are going to go back to the wild. What we'll do is when they breed and we get egg masses, we're going to immediately take the egg mass and go right back to the wild with it and set it up in a little cage system. When the eggs hatch into tadpoles, the tadpoles can filter through and go out into the wild and then they'll be monitored for a long time after that. Why is it important to save these frogs? Well, for one, uh, people you know like frogs. Frogs are cool, but uh, more importantly, they have their own jobs. Uh, these guys, you know, they control insects. They're food for other animals. Uh, big, you know, they, everything has its part in the ecosystem. And when you take something out of the ecosystem, you don't really know what's going to happen. You know, um, another thing is amphibians are often called the canary in the coal mine, because they're amphibians and they live in the water and they respire through their skin they're usually the first to tell us that there's a problem in the environment and obviously there's a problem because frogs are going extinct all over the world. We'd like to thank Jeff Lem for taking time to talk to us today. Amphibian decline is a problem around the world but we're hoping these mountain yellow-legged frogs have a bright future in Southern California with the work that Cress and the San Diego Zoo is doing.